Today with JKD instructor Sifu Eric Carr, we discuss the question, was Bruce Lee a real fighter? And together with John Little's new book, The Wrath of the Dragon, The Real Fights of Bruce Lee, the answer is pretty obvious. Bruce Lee remains the gold standard that all martial artists are compared to. But could he actually fight? World champions in karate competition have gone on record to point out that he never once competed in tournaments. Were his martial abilities merely a trick of the camera? For the first time ever, Bruce Lee authority and best-selling author John Little takes a hard look at Bruce Lee's real fights to definitively answer these questions with over 30 years of research that took him thousands of miles. Little has tracked down witnesses to these fights as well as those who were present at Bruce Lee's many sparring sessions in which he never was defeated against the very best martial artists in the world. From the mean streets of Hong Kong to challenge matches in Seattle and Oakland to the sets of his iconic films where he was challenged repeatedly, this is the incredible real-life fighting record of the man known as the Little Dragon, who may well have been the greatest fighter of the 20th century. It's not what I aspire to be, right? But there's someone that does something, they're better cooked, whatever, no matter what they're bad at. You know, your people focus on, you know, 90% of what people see is, a, 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 and when you're talking to somebody, it's about, it's about them. Yeah. They're, they're, they're viewing what you're saying and, and through, their, through their lens. They're not trying to understand you. It's just like in, the, in just debating. People don't understand the word debate. They, they, most people think it's an opportunity for them to, to bash you over the head with what they know and why you should believe it. And, and while you're speaking, most people are already thinking about what they're going to say next. Yeah. Yeah. So I look at it like 90% of what people say is about them. It's not you. And so when I look at other people doing things, I try to keep an open mind and just analyze it, you know, critically. Like, okay, I see what they're doing, um, but is there something here that 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 you know, has some value that I think that, you know, in that. Maybe they don't, whether they know it or not, yeah. that's the way I look at it. But I see a lot of the stuff out there, these guys are posing, they're doing this shit and stopping, yeah, posing, yeah. they said. Like their yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they're, they're swinging their arms and doing this flashy stuff, and I get it. Like, okay, you see Bruce Lee do stuff on the screen, and Jerry and I talked about this. He said, yeah. oh, it's, it's choreography. It was, it, Bruce, that said, was film JK, right. right? That would look good on film. Bruce was performing. Yeah. Reality JK there's performance thing. and there's reality. reality. And Bruce knew the difference. Yeah. Jerry used to say that it's the difference between doing and being. When Bruce was on a, on a set, he was a performer. Right. When he was training, he was a fighter. So a lot of people, you know, these guys would do this stuff, and I get it. They want to be part of the club. You know, you've got your, you've got your community of your, of your other people you're training with. You're doing something that doesn't have a lot of, uh, you know, Bruce is giant, he's huge, but there's not a lot of, like, you can go taught by someone who learned from Bruce, yeah. taught the way that Bruce taught it. So you get you get you guys sort of improvising and they're doing this fancy stuff that they saw yeah. Bruce doing the thing and they think that's Jeep Kune Do. So when they see something else where it's like, uh, I, you know, I get comments sometimes, oh that's not Jeep Kune Do. I'm like, well yeah it is. Bruce was a fighter. Jerry made that clear to me. Bruce was a, a fighter. And that yeah. was something that like rang in my head. And, uh, everything we learned, my, my, my compass was like, Bruce was a fighter and this was dealing with reality. Not looking flashy and doing some shit. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, yeah. And then it's funny when you get people on YouTube and they go, "Oh, Bruce Lee wasn't a fighter. He was a film star. He was a movie yeah. star. He didn't know how to fight." I, I get pissed That's when the I other hear that. Same on. here. Uh, Same. Just, and I think it's because of these guys out there that are doing this flashy uh, stuff. Yeah. And a real fighter looks at that, and I know because I, I can fight. I, these guys fight. These guys yeah. are fighting. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I look at it, and I'm like. Um, you know, yeah, that's why I say when I look at something, I'm like, oh, that won't work. It's not like that. And yeah. I shut it off. Okay, hey, I know what they're doing. Let me see. Let me just hear them out and see what's going on. Yeah. Here. Maybe there's something here that, that's useful. And then you get guys that knew Bruce, like DeMille and uh, Leo yep. Fong and uh -oh. others. Who? And Asano, and, and, and they all say it's Jim Kelly. Bruce, and Jim Kelly. The, Jerry. He's like, I mean, he Jerry. Is the best there ever was. And, yeah. And, and, yeah. and they, say, they say the truth, right? Jim but Kelly. People don't buy into I, exactly. it. Exactly. Mean, like, I was very fortunate to have, in my opinion, the greatest martial artist ever lived, yeah. uh, Bruce Lee. I'll talk to you about that later. Probably, probably have questions for me on that. But in my opinion, I'll tell you right now, uh, I've, been, I've fought the best. I train with the best. I, kn I, know, great mar I know great martial artists. And there's, there's never been anybody, in my opinion, like Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But I know people he sparred with. I never mentioned their names either. But Bruce Lee 
was untouchable. Yeah. Exactly, Joe Lewis. Another one. Another one. Kickboxing. Yeah. Say how great he was. I watched later. Exactly. Joe Lewis said his words while he looked. Bruce. He he was a step above everybody. Of everyone. He said. He said he embarrassed everybody. World champions. He embarrassed him. Joe Lewis. And they say he had the power of a heavyweight. Exactly. And it's coming from a champion, a world champion. That's right. You know, people still don't buy into it. You know, white. Because I think they're jealous. Yeah. That's probably what it is. I don't know what real truth to know was. Which also I got popped with it. They don't want to accept the truth. Yeah. Usually, what it is. Yeah. So I get haters a lot too. Oh, man, I, I, back I considered him like back by yeah. far the greatest. I feel like though with like movies, so people sometimes they, people are stars on on TV that they don't have training, but they get trained to try to look like that. Yeah. But he came from the fighting. He background. was a fighter right. first. Well, that's what he said himself. That Bruce was a fighter first and an actor second. Exactly. He was a fighter, and then he got picked up. Like, hey, this guy's pretty awesome. That's that's why he looked so great on film. I think because he was a fighter. Yeah. And he looked so. He was real. Yeah. 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 Like, he wanted his fights to look real. That was the other thing. Hold on. He wanted his fights to look real. Back then, the Shaw Brothers, which I loved when I was a kid, you know, the flying around and stuff. Now Bruce's fights are choreographed, but they weren't like the Shaw Brothers fantasy stuff where you're exactly. flying and doing the stuff, yeah. chop, chop, chop. Not necessarily the same thing. So, so I, I, I um, and you see the difference. But, but I see like, well, there's a lot of guys out there. And look, when you're training in a small group, wherever you're at, whether it's a big city or a small city, you got to realize that's a small circle. Exactly. And you can start to feel really good about yourself with your with your partners. But the real world is a big, much bigger place. You get out against somebody who trains hard to kill you know, a, a good boxer, you know, a good Muay Thai, something like that, and it's a rude awakening. These guys realize that the shit that they're doing doesn't work. Oh, exactly. So then you get this, um, you know, you get some people who see this, these people on their YouTube, or you see people getting fights like, you know, step into the ring like that, and it's like, okay, they don't think Bruce is a fighter. So that's what Mario, he's kicking ass. You know, we've had, like I said, we've had wins, we've had losses, we've had draws. I'm uh, glad you're out there, man. Yeah, we've had really, showing we've how it's had done. We've had spectacular moments. We've had spectacular moments in the ring. Either I, way, it went. Wouldn't be wouldn't be out there without. I, I want to I want to feature some of your fight on my channel when All you're right. in there. Yeah, hell yeah. Video some of it. I want to feature. I want to. I want to feature it on the right. channel. Show them that. what JKD's really all about. A, he landed a knockdown in 17 seconds in the first round. Really shocked the guy. The guy's a real good kid. He's actually came and trained with us the other night. Real good kid, but um got a first down round knockdown and we've nice. been kicking his ass I mean like for me I, I like there's no excuse I'm like you know what you can either be just good enough just good as people around you or you can just fuck all of it and just push yourself so for me I, you know, I get up at four in the morning yeah and sometimes people ask me I, I get questions lately so why do you get up so early why do you have martial arts why do you you know like lifting weights and I the, the only answer that's been coming to my head is like do you eat food Exactly. Do you brush your teeth? Do you shower? Do you exactly. change your clothes? It's your part of your lifestyle. That's exactly yeah. right. It's like when they That's ask Arnold, why do you still train? And he goes, I'm going to train till the day I die. It's part of who I am exactly. now. Yeah, look at Stallone and Schwarzenegger. Stallone and Schwarzenegger. Yeah. They're going to train yeah. till the day they die. It's really who they great. are. Exactly. I mean, they came. Yeah. Yeah. When I decided to become a martial artist, when I decided to become a Jeet Kune Do fighter, I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to, okay. Uh, the day that I die is when I retire. Exactly. Okay. Oh yeah. There it is, oh, man. I still, Good job, okay, I still want to live on. I still want to um, teach the new generations of Bruce Lee. Yep. Well, that's, pass, what, that's what Jerry wanted. Yeah. Legacy and well, you're, down the you're, you're the next generation to do that, man. That's why I'm glad you're studying with this guy, man. That's fantastic. Thank you. That's and, fantastic. Um, if you guys are recording, I do acting too as well. Oh, so does my son. Awesome. I'll be more than happy to be um, featured in your documentary and you can be interviewed too. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Very good, man. Good man. You're a good man. Thanks. You too, Steve. All right. Well, so this is great, man. My life forever. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.